The other night, Eddie Murphy returned to Saturday Night Live, and it basically was, you know, a big thing because if you guys are not familiar with Eddie Murphy's career, he first started out uh, doing his comedy, and he got a lot of his, you know, his first break with Saturday Night Live. And, you know, eventually he worked his way up and became like this big mega star comedian and really took comedy to the rock star level. But he returned to Saturday Night Live the other night and they had, a, I believe it was a skit or something, quote unquote, funny, which I didn't think was funny. But they wanted him to basically make a joke about the whole Bill Cosby thing that's going on. And a lot of these little networks, they do certain things like that. They, um... Uh, like to disrespect the black community, whether it's on a TV show, whether it's on, uh, you know, sketch comedy, et cetera, et cetera. You know, I've been to certain production shows. I remember I was at the Arsenio Hall show when, um, you know, Russell Simmons was there. And, you know, he made some comments when he was up there. And I, I just started shaking my head because some of the things that our brothers come out and do and how they throw the black community under the bus when they have that microphone, that camera in front of their face, I think is, you know, highly ridiculous. But Eddie Murphy didn't fall for it the other night. They wanted him to basically play into the whole Bill Cosby thing and insult a man and, you know, uh, basically just throw him under the bus, and he didn't do it. And, you know, I got a lot of respect for Eddie Murphy not doing that because he could have easily went on there and, uh, you know, kiss these white folks' ass and say, you know what, I'm going to go out here and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw them under the bus. You know, I'm going to go out here and say what they want me to say to get a couple of laughs or get that cosign, that thumbs up from the so-called dominant society. But he didn't. And I got a lot of respect for him for, for not being a, a puppet to the system, considering the, the statue of celebrity he's at. And, you know, I think part of that was because, first of all, Eddie Murphy has matured over the years. You know, you guys remember him back when he was younger, you know, very wild, you know, uh, you know, he was into a lot of stuff. But now he's got, you know, family, kids, and, you know, as you get older, certain things become a priority to you that maybe weren't a priority to you five, ten years ago. And also... As, you know, a black man, he sat back and he's, he's looked at what really goes down in the media. And when you're in the entertainment field, you know certain things that go on and how the media likes to twist and turn things and play you out to be this big monster. And he saw what they did to him during the, um, when Eddie Murphy got caught with that transvestite. And to this day, people out in L.A., you know, still make up stories or try to, Throw that on his career and everything. I mean, people, I, I've heard about, I say, a good 50 stories on, you know, Eddie Murphy's quote unquote lifestyle or him in the transvestite and et cetera, et cetera. So they're still trying to, you know, tarnish that man's career. But I ran across an interview of uh, Lil Scrappy and they asked him about the whole Bill Cosby thing. And Lil Scrappy, you guys are not familiar with, he's not a, a conscious rapper or anything like that. You know, he more or less makes, um, I would say, tracks for the hood or uh, club records. Or, you know, he sometimes he'll make the little sexual records for the women. But he said some some very, I say, some, some powerful things that were on point. And a lot of things that he said in this interview that I'm going to show you guys in a minute is what I've been saying and what a lot of other brothers have been saying out here that, this attack on Bill Cosby is to tarnish his career, tarnish his legacy. And they do this all the time with black men. You know, they, they build you up just to tear you down. They did it with Chris Brown. They did it where they did with Eddie Murphy, Bill Cosby. And I can name hundreds of other black men and black women that had been torn down in the media. But, you know, I just thought it was, uh, it was just another clarification. I'm glad that a lot of brothers out here are waking up to what's really going on and understanding the world we live in and how the media likes to twist and turn things and play us out to be the big bad wolf. But I'm going to go ahead and play you guys' interview. And this is, you know, a quick little video just to, you know, salute those who do have an open, open eye, do understand what's going on, know how to sit back and observe things like i said before you know i have my issues with bill cosby but also i'm not going to get on a public plat platform and throw that man under the bus because they like it when we come out here and we throw each other under the bus 
But I'm gonna go ahead and play the video for you guys. You guys can give me your feedback if you want. Back on the Merlot Jones EP. Right. Classic scrappy project right there. Thank if you. I do say so myself. <laughs> Thank you. you were, had a record on there called Mr. Cosby. <laughs> Mr. Cosby, girl. I need to re-put that back up. <laughs> and now obviously, moving forward, Bill Cosby is the center of attention for a bunch of stuff that he's going through right now. I wanted to get your take on the whole situation, especially since you had a record too that you, you know, kind of popped off from his character. I just right. wanted want to see what your opinion of this whole thing is, is right now. Uh, I think, you know, I ain't gonna need to tell you how I think. I feel, you know, outraged and angry about it sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like any black man that then came through the game and then been real successful, you know, they try to come down and kill the whole credibility of the man, you know what I'm saying, or woman, you know what I'm saying? Like, by the time they're dead, it's like they let us, they build us up while we're alive, and by the time we're dead, they try to tear us down. Or what, by the time we get older, they want to tear our whole, everything we achieve, our whole legacy down, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, it'd be a, a white person or somebody of another nationality that done did the same thing as we did, but we get the face for it. We get the face for it, like we be like the ones that they use, you know what I'm saying, to give examples or to make examples out of. And they be like, why would you do that? Like, this man was in everybody's household, you know what I'm saying, this Bill Cosby. Basically, where our little kids, our little kids, kids, because my daughter know who Bill Cosby is, you know what I'm saying, she nine years old. So, by the time she have kids, they not going to know Bill Cosby. They trying to take him off the air. It was like some, just, and just, and, um... That was just uh, um, uh, uh, somebody said something. That was he say, she say. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't even real. He ain't even been judged yet, whether he did it or not, or whether, you know, it was right or wrong, or he really did it, and they already trying to take him off the air. You know what I'm saying? And the real people that actually was around him and made money with him and was actually on that real side with him, there's, nah, ain't, ain't nothing happening. What you talking about? You know what I'm saying? You tripping. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all go ahead on with that shit. You know what I'm saying? But that's what they do, though. They try to big us up and tear us down. You know what I'm saying? And then we help them. You know what I'm saying? We help them. They tore Chris Brown down. We helped him down. You feel me? All the way down. Then he came back, you know, by the greatness of God. You know what I'm saying? God blessed him. And then everybody want to praise. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want to go praising again. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's how they do it. They don't stop, you know.